YouTube, this is GS Man, I'm Smart, here today with another brand new video for tutorials of GS. In today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Adobe Audition and teaching you the difference between multi-track view, multi-track editing, and then also waveform editing and a waveform view. Now this is a pretty crucial concept in Adobe Audition, mainly because you're going to be using these two elements of Audition a lot. Now, apologies if my voice sounds a bit off than usual. I'm kind of sick with a slight sore throat and a cough, so uh, if it sounds kind of bad, I, I do apologize. I'm pretty sure next few videos I'll be better. So currently what you're seeing, uh, we are currently having a track in front of us in the waveform view. Now, at the top left corner here, you'll see waveform view and multi-track view. When you click multi-track view, it'll ask you to create a new multi-track. So I'm just going to go ahead and create one real quick. So I just went ahead and created one real quick, and you'll see that's very different from the uh, waveform view. Now the main difference in waveform view and multi-track view, if you don't know anything about it, the main difference that you should know is that edits that are made in waveform view are going to be destructive edits, which means any edit you make to the waveform here will be made to the original audio file. It'll be overwriting the original audio file. So if I, for example, delete this last portion of the file and I delete it and I press save then this will be the new audio file I won't have the other audio file anymore that has this portion of the file unless I save it and name it as a new file obviously in multi-track view you can make however many edits you want and you will not be affecting the original file and waveform views. So those are the key differences. Now, a lot of times you will be working in multi-track view. You'll probably have several different audio files that you may want to mix together. And this is where multi-track view is really great at. Whenever you're creating uh, a song, whenever, whenever you're doing some post-production on a radio show, or you're creating a podcast, a lot of times you'll have a lot of different files and you'll want to mix them together here in our multi-track editor. So if you have like two or three files, you want to go ahead and add those two or three files in several different channels here and move them around and make your edits here. And like I said, when you make your edits here, when you remove things, when you cut things out, when you silence things, all multi-track is doing is making those edits in this multi in this multi-track session. Your original audio will be unchanged. The only downside of multi-track is that you're not able to use favorites. And favorites is really only good for uh, waveform editing, and I'll show you that in just a second. But the cool thing about multi-track session editing is that a lot of the effects that you would be putting on your audio in waveform editing, for example, over here, are going to be in real time, so you don't need to sit and wait for everything to load. If I wanted to go add a mastering effect, I go to effects, special, mastering, I don't need to wait for my entire track to to render through and to process it. I can have the effect right on top here and in real time, I can listen to this and I can see the effect. On the left side here, you'll see your effects rack and all of your effects will stack up here. Whenever you want to disable one or enable one, you press the little stopwatch here and you can enable and disable effects to see the previous version and to see the post version. So the multi-track editor is really cool for actually compositing audio and making non-destructive edits. If you're familiar with image editing in Photoshop, think about layers. In Photoshop, you have an image and you constantly make a new layer to change the image. If you don't make a new layer, you are destructively editing that picture and you won't be able to go back if you save unless obviously you go Control Z, Control Z. The same thing here. On the left side here, your effect rack is basically your layers and you can turn the layers off or turn them on with whatever effects you want to add. Now the question you might have is, well this is great, but why would I ever want to use waveform editing then? And really the only time you want to use waveform editing is for type of effects that you consistently put onto, for type of effects that you consistently apply to your recordings. If you're noticing that you always are removing static from your recorded files, if you notice that you're always amplifying, if you notice that you're always having to delete ums and silences and having to reduce sibilance, things that you're always doing and that you know you're permanently going to want to the file, or if you want to make some very quick edits and you want to save that and you're very sure that you're never going to want to revert it, 
this is what waveform is good for for example when i record my youtube when i record my youtube audio voiceovers i tend to always use a favorite called youtube vocals i can make five or six different effects applied to my entire track through this favorite which i'm not able to do in the multi-track editor maybe i'm going to use my youtube audio in my multi-track editor when i put my music in when i put my sound effects in and everything that's great but i'm never but i'm always going to want to add this effect preset to my audio and i'm always going to want to have that as my original audio and this is great for waveform editing you're doing destructive editing but if it's something you're always doing if it's something that you're not going to revert want to revert back to then you can confidently do it here now the only downside here is like i said if you wanted to add uh mastering for example special mastering as you can see you click apply there's actually a processing time for this because you're actually changing the data of this audio file now be aware if you happen to have a track in the multi-view here and you make an edit in the waveform every change you make in the waveform will also be made in multi-track view obviously because you are making an official change to the file here so it'll obviously change in the multi-track view as well if you ever want to switch between multi-track or waveform you can click the button up here to change between waveform and multi-track you can also double click a track in your multi-track and it'll bring you into the waveform editor of that file or you can also use the 0 and 9 key on your keyboard to go back and forth very easily and quickly without having to use your mouse and keyboard shortcuts are always good to know now if you don't like the fact that all of your changes are going to be made permanently to a file what you can do is always save as a different copy that's one option you can make all of your edits in multi-track and never work with waveform or what a lot of people like to do and what i suggest you do if you're not comfortable with overwriting things if you're not comfortable making permanent changes to your audio file but you still want to work in waveform editor all you gotta do is right click your track here and click convert to unique copy and when you click convert to unique copy it'll basically make a copy of that original file and you can make whatever changes you want to your waveform here that will also affect the multi-track however you will still have your original copy here so it's safe for you to make whatever changes you want here you still won't be able to revert back to them unless you obviously control z to go back however you'll have both you'll have an original copy here and you'll also have an edited copy and that's the having the best of both worlds so that's basically <clears throat> so that's basically the key differences between multi-track editing and waveform editing and between the two different views they're both very useful i use them both a lot and the, and if you're still confused about which one to use for what just think of it like this if you're creating something big and you're compositing things and you're gonna be wanting to go back and forth between effects use multi-track session if you're making a quick edit that you know you're not going to want to go back to if you just need to remove something or you want to make a quick change then use the waveform editor but be aware you won't be able to go back to the original file unless you make a copy of it or unless you save it as a new file and that's pretty much everything i wanted to go over today hopefully my voice wasn't too bad you guys can understand me if any questions or comments feedback suggestions anything i missed that i didn't go over leave a comment down below in the comment section i'll be down there answering questions as usual and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet go and subscribe love to have you on board plenty of other adobe audition tutorials on our channel lots of other audio editing tutorials photo editing tutorials, video editing tutorials on our channel as well. And if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a like. We'd really appreciate it. And if you want to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, you can do so as well. Click the card on the top right-hand corner of the screen. It will bring you to the page. And if you want to check out my vlogging channel, the gaming channel, the advice channel, or the music channel, links are in the description as well as on the end screen. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching, as always. And bear it with me with my terrible voice. And this is Geosmail Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.